In this video, we're going to talk about the email application protocols that we use on a daily basis that are in the application layer of the TCP IP protocol suite. So what are they? Well, there's SMTP, which stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, POP3, which stands for Post Office Protocol, and IMAP4, which stands for Internet Message Access Protocol. So how are they the same and how do they differ and how do we use all three of them? Well, regardless if you're using a web-based or if you're using Outlook, you are using one of these protocols or a combination of them. Now, SMTP and POP3 have been around for quite some time and IMAP4 is a newer version. So let's start with SMTP. SMTP is a protocol that we use for sending emails. So it allows you to transfer emails between different mail servers. So for example, if you're on Gmail or if you are on Outlook and you're typing up an email and you send it to your mail server to send it off, you're going to use SMTP to send that email from your browser with Gmail or your Outlook client off to that mail server for it to be sent off to another email server. Now, what about if you want to receive emails? Because we all want to receive emails. We're not just sending them. Well, if we want to receive emails, we have to use POP3. So there's a different protocol for sending and receiving of emails. So if you go to Outlook and you hit the send and receive all and you want to download all your emails, or if you log into Gmail and you want to see the emails, well, it's going to use POP3. So POP3 is what's going to be used to deliver those emails from the mail server to your client machine. And you'll notice here that I said it's designed for intermittent connectivity. What does that mean? Well, it means that it's only going to query and send a request to the mail server whenever you ask it to. So for example, if you have Outlook, you set it to, to check for new mail every five minutes or every 10 minutes. Well, that's what we're going to do. It's set up to be used intermitt intermittently, and it's going to connect on a regular basis to download those new emails. So really, if you want to connect to an email server and you want to send and receive emails, all you need is SMTP and POP3. However, you can also use IMAP4. So IMAP4 is a bit different in the way that it works. Um, and, and let's go ahead and let's read this. So um, it allows users to access emails on the email server and either read them on the server or download them to your machine. So for example, with my iPhone, I have it set up for IMAP. And I can either set it up to have me just read what's on the email server itself and have it stay on there or I can have it download it to my iPhone and delete it off the server. And it's based upon your preference on what you want to do. Now, the reason why we have IMAP is that, for example, if you have multiple different machines that you want to access your emails on, for example, if you have an iPhone like me, and then I have my main desktop machine where I have Outlook on there. Well, I want it to store all my emails in Outlook. But before I get to that point, I still want to be able to access them on the go, but I still want them to be available so I can download them onto my Outlook as well. So I'll set up IMAP on my iPhone so I can access them and read all the emails on the server, but not download them. So I'm simply looking at my emails on the server itself. However, when I get home and I open my Outlook, I'm going to use SMTP and POP3, and I'm going to use POP3 to get all my emails off the server, and then when they're off the server, it's going to delete them. So that's why you would use IMAP4 over POP3 or SMTP. Now, you're always going to use SMTP to send, but to receive them, you can either use POP3 or IMAP, or you can use a combination of both if you have multiple devices. And that's really all there is to it when we're talking about email application protocols in the TCP IP protocol suite. Thank <laughs> you.